Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Uh, I've got a, another little cute project. I uh, did the, the little box yesterday. This is so cute. Um, and today we're going to make this. How sweet. The handle is not the best, but I've been using it just to put my Winker Stellas in and my um, tweezers and stuff. But you can fill this with cellophane and chocolates and tie a bow in and... It's a cute little mug, isn't it cute? And it's so simple to make. Um, I'm sure I put all these now the right way. Winker Stella, oh, I'll have to just leave them there. But they're my Winker Stellas, and they're sitting on my desk. Uh, I'm changing the colour. We're going to go with the Berry Burst. Maybe it's a lady one. I think that's more for a man, but I want a pink one. Um, so you're going to need a piece of card which is nine and a half by seven and three quarters you're going to need another piece this is five by one and a quarter that's just for the handle and then you're going to need six pieces at three by one and a quarter and I'll, these are for the panels at the side aren't they so cute ideal gift to give chocolates like i'm saying little uh, bag of hearts or something we're going to be using a score board uh, scoring board yeah and they're also we're going to be using the envelope punch board but if you don't have an envelope punch board i'll show you a little trick instead i'm going to use my uh, punch board because it's quicker but i'll show you what you can do instead right long side pop this in and we're going to score every um one and a half inches so oh shavings that one very good is it I'll turn that over and start again so we're going to start at one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and nine. And we're going to turn it to the short side, and we're going to score at one and a half and five and a quarter. And that's all we need that for. Out of the way, do not make a noise, right? We're gonna burnish all our oh, we're gonna burnish all our score lines now, making sure we do it the right way. It's a cute little project, it is. So, we're gonna sorry, this takes the longest, but uh. Isn't it cute though? I've been racking my brains all I've been baking all day. I just made three light Christmas cakes uh, and two Genoa cakes and I've just made two coconut cakes as well. So I've made on the hottest day of the year and I'm baking. How silly is that? So grab your scissors first of all and see this long flap, this little tiny one. We're going to take this off. That's the only bit we don't need. And then you're going to mite to this end. Isn't that cute? While that's like that now, you're going to get your little strips. And see the score line here? The paper doesn't go all the way down. It goes up there. Because this bit bends under the cup. See? We don't need paper there. So I'm going to use my fast fuse. If it wants to play today. Oh, look at that. I've got a master in. Oh, there's no little bit there at the bottom. Oh, it is sticky behind this stuff. So let's attach them while we're going. So, good border on the side, really close to the score line. And just stick them down. Because this pattern is. Uh, cute pattern it doesn't really matter which way it runs so unless you've got a directional one like they these then obviously make sure they all go the same way otherwise you'll have upside down bits i've just come to the end are you serious 
I got another one. Oh my god. I don't think I have you now. Oh my god, I've just come to the end of my bath views. I could have swore I had another one. No, I didn't. Right, let's uh, find it up. Let's get my 80s year. They'll still stick. It's not getting bashed about or anything. Oh, no, 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 come back up. Come on, straighten up. No boo boos today, Gator. <laughs> All right, we've got three more pieces to go. It's relatively a quick project as well. Um, I just thought it was really cute. I will be going back to my beautiful, simple, elegant card. Um, I just fancy doing a few little 3D projects with you. I pop one in the mix every now and then. <laughs> but these would be great in uh, real red and some uh, nice Valentine's designer sales paper next year for a little Valentine's gift. Or you could use the orange and black uh, and fill them full of sweets for the kids at Halloween. Little Mother's Day chocolate uh, cap. And they're a great little thingy to keep the odds and sauce in afterwards as well. See, that was quick. Right, um, da, 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 I'm going to turn over now. We're going to do our punching now. Right, I'm doing this this way because, uh, in case my designer series paper gets caught. But if you look in here, there's a bar there. You're going to line it up in the centre with this score line. Staying in the centre. And then, just press down. Oh my god. That's it. Oh, it's stiff. That's... But if you haven't got one, what I suggest, you fold and then just cut a diamond out. Because it doesn't matter if it's rounded or if it's a diamond. It's highly up to you. I'll carry on with the diamonds now because... Uh, just to show you it works either way. I use the envelope punch board on the, all the other. I'm good showing you the other, an alternative. I've got to try and make sure they're relatively the same size gainer. It would help. <laughs> you know, so they're roughly the same size. Cute. Well, you know what I mean. And again, this. There we go. I'm going to discard these bits now. Yeah? Let's swig of my coffee. Mmm. Lovely. Right, now. Our card. We're going to cut up these. I'm not sure. I don't think we need that little flap there. I'm going to cut that straight. I don't need that flap. Sorry, I meant to cut that off earlier. Cut up your little flaps now. It is neater with the envelope punch board, but it doesn't really make any odds. Um, we are now going to turn it over. And we're going to... Oh, I've got a little pill on my hand. <laughs> little tear away. Oh, I do apologise. I'm burping. 
don't. Sorry, I'm doing it again. Uh, is it this end? No, this end. Sorry. Take it, but don't go all the way to the very edge yet. And you're going to take this all the way to the very end. Oops. And the same at the top. This is getting folded inside the mug, so this will reinforce it. And I always do this, as you know, just so I know my tape is sticking and it fetches my tape up better. Right, um, I think we need a flap on there as well. We may need another little piece, but right, I'm going to gather these right now. Take off. Where's my eye? Take this tape off. And now carefully with this edge right up to this edge and a fold oh I've done it the wrong way it needed to be that end oh poo oh well just we're going to take this off it will work I promise and then you're going to take this it was supposed to have tucked inside there, but tuck it in there when, if you can when you're doing yours. It was that end we needed to leave open a little bit. So take this right down to the edge. And there's your shape. See, that would have been way better if that had been tucked in, but uh, don't stress. Right. I'm just going to go in my bowl and fold it. Making sure that every one of them is stuck down because that's your reinforcement now for the side of your mug. Isn't that cute? Right. Um, I can fit this. this is just my, uh, I want to keep its shape. And just while we turn it this way. Now we're going to attach our little flaps now. So you, what you want to do is take this over there and you want to adhere them. Not loosely, but you want to pull them. So the large bit comes all the way up to this bit. It pulls the mug together. So we're going to put a strip on three of these and the other three now. So... See it coming together in it quick. And then I'm going to put two pieces on just to reinforce it. Only on three, but we're going to crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. So can have my tape. I made these for my swaps. I <laughs> don't think at the time. I had my mind set on giant lollipops, so that's what I did. It's just going to help this is to stick them down. Fingers crossed that we should be the last to be taped. But I'm going to lay this down a sec just while I squash my tape down. So, one at a time, I'm going to peel back the strips. And I'm going to cross this over and the widest part goes to the widest part. Oops. 
you pin it level and stick it down. Then we're going to go with this piece and pull that in as well. See how they curl a little bit to give you the shape of the cup? I would suit, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of strip on here because I want this all sticking down. See, it seems to want to come away, well it's not coming away, just I want a bit more security. So I'm taping that down and these two sides as well, pinch them together. And I'm going to do the same on this one as well. You don't have to. I'm doing it because I want a little bit of extra security. This is our last one. Ooh, the one that got away. Right, again, pulling in the sides. And securing it down and you get those rounded edges see that whole hole should have been a little bit bigger this is what you get that shape from with the envelope punch board so I can remove this now get rid of my bits and I'm going to push down inside making sure all those bits are stuck together How cool! Isn't that taking shape? Do remember to tuck the flap inside there and don't close it all the way to the edge. It's my fault for rushing. Right, um, where's my little strip gone? There you are. Isn't that pretty? Right, now that we're gonna... Oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna bend about a quarter of a centimetre, maybe. Maybe an eighth of an inch over because that's where and I'm going to add tape again to here and this side right there that's right I bend that across this is going to stick on there and then this bit is going to stick on there like that. So I need a piece of that side as well. Oh, another sweat is so, it's so warm in here. I'm having to take cold baths every day. Just to cool down. I'm washing my jimmy jams every morning. <laughs> so I can peel this off. Um, squash your mug down, I'd say, just to round them corners off and to keep it level. And where you see is we're going to go opposite with um, our tear um, thingy. You need to centralise this up to that crease line there. Take this one off. And then we're going to just arch this right at the bottom here. It's not the strongest of handles, but look how cute that is. I'm going to try and get a bit more tape in there if I can. My fault, my little boo-boo, so don't you. You won't have to do this if you tuck it in, whereas I didn't. <laughs> Let's see, I've managed to pull the tape off, so I'm going to just pop that right there in that corner excuse me 
I should have said, I could have just used the glue dot, can I? But then I'm going to get my piercing tool, whatever it is. And I'm just going to tuck that in, that bit of glue. See it? Tuck it in. That's it. Oh, it's come back out, little bugger. There we go. That's better. Yay, look, and I've done my little mug. There we are, just a quick little project to give you something to ponder over. Um, so cute. Um, like I'm saying, oh, I, uh, I'm just going to stick my wink of Stella's in mine. I'm not going to be lifting it by the handle, trust me. Uh, it's just for decoration, that is. But how cute. Is that cup? Isn't that sweet? Well, I hope you like them. Uh, a thumbs up and a share and a subscribe if you do. Uh, and if there's any projects out there you'd like to see me do, drop me a comment in the bottom of the bo uh, in the box below. I will put all the dimensions on the blog uh, today or tomorrow. Um, I'm not past, I'm not sure, but it will be on there sometime by tomorrow tea time. So. Like I say, fingers crossed, uh, fingers crossed, a thumbs up and share and a subscribe. A lovely little um, cellophane bag now inside there, filled up with some little Love Art chocolates or some Thorntons and then tied with a gorgeous bow. That would make a lovely little present. And if you've got time and patience, you could put a circle on there to hide that or make a little teacup to go with it. Ooh, back to see if I can make a teacup. But thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.